So wait today, this completely, I'm going to go over book one, chapter three of Caesar's De Bellagolico together with you. Um, starting off with his Rebus, Aducti. Aducti is a PPP. I see in the book Aduco, which is to influence or lead to. Um, this PPP is nominative, and it's plural, because I see constituera with an NT is plural. That's our main verb. And his Rebus is an ablative of means... And that's just by these things. And that's talking about the things being the conspiracy. By these things, uh, having been influenced by these things, and having been moved thoroughly, this PPP is also nominated, by the authority of Orgetorics. They decided, and now we have to get the words plus these infinitives. And these in first infinitive, this is going to be our infinitive number one, comparare. They decided to prepare things which, this is nominative, perturnerent, which pertain. This is a relative clause verb. This isn't a relative clause of characteristic. That's why it's subjunctive. Which pertain for the purpose of uh, departing. This is a gerund. And this is departing. Odd plus a gerund or gerundive is going to express purpose. So, uh, for the purpose of departing. So they prepare those things which pertain to departing. And those things... And they decided to coemorate. This is our infinitive number two. So this accusative direct object, I should say, is with the infinitive two, one number one, a i. Uh, to prepare those things uh, and to coemorate, to buy up as great a number as possible. So quam plus a superlative like maximum, which is the biggest, is as blank a, a blank as possible. And this is as great a number, accusative direct object, infinitive number two, of yokes. And yokes are what you put on a horse or a bull or a bison or or a buffalo or something, or some big pack animal, you put the yokes so that way they get combined to the carts. A greater number of carts and of yokes. Here we got quam maximus again, cementes, and this is going to be our next accused direct object of our infinitive number three. And to make as great a, uh, as great a sowing as possible, as great a number of seeds as possible. Ut is a purpose clause here, so that the supply of grain is in stock on their journey. Cum here is going to be a with because I see kiwitatibus, and that's a it's kind of like people, and I see confirmare, which is our last infinitive. This is infinitive number four, and they're going to decide to confirm or to, the book puts here, to establish, declare a treaty or peace and friendship with the nearest states. I'll put a little ablative plus cum there. So those are the things they had in mind. And here we get this weird indirect statement. This is on the next page, page 16 here. Ad eas reis configiendas. This is, the, the book says, this is a gerundive with odd to express purpose. Just like odd profiscenda for departing. And this is for these things, or for finishing these things. 
to run this. Um, and I'm going to put here finishing, completing. For the purpose of finishing these things, they considered, and I'm going to put here, duco can mean to lead, but in this case it's going to be considered. The book says a nice note, they considered. This is our main verb, and it's going to introduce an indirect statement. They considered that. This is our accusative subject, biennium, of our IDS. Essay is our indirect statement infinitive. And this is accusative, satis. They considered, for the purpose of finishing these things, that two years is enough for them. This is a data. Okay, and then we get to this next portion where we find out what's going to happen in their third year. Let me grab my marker. Um, in the third year, my bad, there you go, in tertium onum, confirmant, and this is the uh, Helvetians, by the way. They're doing the actions of all these things. So they're considering, they're thinking about, they were establishing, and now they establish here our main verb. They establish the Helvetii, which is where Ogedrix is from, um, in the third year, a profectionum, a departure date, a set out. And how do they do this? Ablative of means, by law. By a law. Well, basically, this lege, they've established it through their court system and, th and through their own government that this is when they're leaving the land of the Helvetians. Okay, and now moving on into this next part, ad eas res conficiendas, for the purpose of finishing these things, same deal, that gerundive, uh, I'll put here, it's the same phrase, they isn't the subject anymore. Now it's our getorix, which is nominative, and this is a passive form of delegator. Delego is where we get the word delegate, and delego is to choose, or Gedrix is chosen for the purpose of finishing these things. So they choose him as their leader. He, this is nominative, and that's where Gedrix, he, so skip it, took up a legationem, an embassy for them, this is a dative of reference, to the states. So in other words, here he's going to go and make peace with people. Um, odd plus the accusative odd to be states. In Eo itinerate on this journey, on that journey, he, or Gatorix, persuaded, main verb, plus datives. Persuaded always picks a date. He persuaded Casticus. The son, this is another dative, the same dative for Casticus. The son of this guy named Cantamantaloidus. Cantamantaloidus, um, his dad. He is a Sequanian. Can't Casticus, so we know where he's from. And Cuius Pater, and this is Casticus, whose father, genitive, nominative, whose father, obtinuerat regnum in. Sequanis, multos annos. Obtinerera here is going to be our relative clause verb, whose father had obtained regnum, the rule or power in Sequanis, in Sequania, and then for many years. This is an accusative duration of time. So he, for many years, had obtained the rule. And now, this is talking about uh, Causticus here, and amicus and friend, apelatus era. This is passive and pluperfect. He had been called friend, asenatu, by the Senate of the Roman people. This is an official title that they give to foreigners who are kings or leaders of their own tribes, so that way the Romans and those people can be uh, can get along well. It's like 
having an amb ambassador in a different country nowadays. It's that equivalent. By the Senate. This is an ablative um, with the word ah. So he was called friend by the Roman people, um, by the Senate of the Roman people, so that, this is a purpose clause, so that in order to, here's our subjunctive verb, occupar, so that he occupies, where he controls, he seizes the power in his state. Regnum will be seen a lot of now. Because, clothed, Pontair, his father, had it before. And so, um, we're going to find out what happens next as I go through this together, because we're going to need the word persuaded, which comes up again. And so, item que, and so, persuadet, again, here's our main verb of this whole thing, and I'm going to put a big, like, semicolon. And so, he persuaded the Iduin, the H there is kind of extra, you don't need this, this is dated, and so is Dumnorigi, and I'm going to add, put the word pers with persuaded, which is way at the end of this clause. And he persuaded the Iduin Dumnorix, the brother of Dewikiakis. Dewik I don't know who he is, he, a famous Iduin, uh, a leader of the Idui, friendly to the Romans, according to the book. Who, and that's Dumnorix, in his time, um, he principatum incubitate sulo obtinebat. He obtained, he got, um, he held, possessed, I don't know, um, chiefdom, uh, principate. Pinky Patam, chief place, the chief authority, leadership in his state. Uh, and here's our key direct object. And Maxime is a superlative adverb. Very, very greatly. He was accepted. And then this uh, plebe is a dative uh, with this adjective acceptus. This is a dative of agent. He was accepted. by the plebeians, by the poor. Ut again here, that he too, um, that he, and this uh, is orgator, uh, orgator, uh, Dumnorix, so that he attempts or tries the same. This is an accusative direct object, and idem equals the same, uh, and being regnum. He wants to achieve the same goal. Kona retor is our subjunctive verb. And so what he does to persuade him, Dumnorix is given, so this is actually Orgeterix doing this action here of dot. Orgeterix dot Philium Suam, his own daughter, to Dumnorix, a.e., this dated indirect object, in matrimonium, in marriage. And then we get this uh, weird phrasing uh, where we get into the next page, and if you flip over, perfacli factu perficeric uh, is a nice alliteration, and factu is supine which is very easy to do. And here we get this word parobot, which is approve or demonstrate. He uh, approves these things having been attempted, or he approves that um, so this is our main verb, and this is our getterix. And this is going to introduce indirect statement here with this word. Uh, 
and then esse is our indirect statement, per facile esse, that it is very easy for them to do to per ficere. This is a complementary infinitive of esse. That it's very easy for them to per ficere um, to accomplish uh, and then this is our acute subject. These uh, things having been attempted. This is a perfect active participle. For them, by or by them, dative. Phillies. Because, propteria quote means because, he himself, this is our nominative ipse, Suae quitatis imperium obtentoris esse. Because, uh, and I think the book here has a great, in as much as he was going to take over um, supreme authority in his own state. Um, he was about to, and this is a future perfect um, passive form, which is really odd. This is obtemptorous asset is uh, that he was uh, ab about to obtain imperium is our direct object, or not passive, it's just a future perfect form. Um, empire of his state, that's general. That's what the book is saying. It's a really weird phrasing. I don't like it personally. Um, and then we have known as a dubium quintotius Gallia plurimum poetii posent. And then in this phrase, I see the book uh, has a nice note about um, known and quin here. And he proved to them that there was no doubt. And uh, we have to add another po probot plus probot for an IDS, indirect statement. And he proves that there was no doubt, this is an accusative subject, that there is no doubt, that, Quinn is the word for that, um, the Helvetians are able, or were able, this subjunctive verb, to possess the majority of all Gaul. Um, we could add the word obtinere to obtain the majority, the plurimum, the most of all Gaul. I think the book even has a nice note about this too. Um, he proved to them that there was no doubt that, yeah, they were able to uh, control, they were able to gain, get control of all of Gaul. Okay, and into this last portion, I hope to finish this quickly as this has been going a while. Uh, he establishes, and this is Orgeterix. And then conciliatorum, we have to add the word essay, and this is a future infinitive. That he, our accusative subject, is say, um, he is about, or he will, uh, and I see gain or win over or secure the rules, the kingdoms, this is our accusative direct object of our infinitive, and this is the future infinitive in an IDS, with, by means of, these use of means, with their supplies and with their army for them. That's who he's doing it for Cassicus and Dumnorix. Hoc orationi adupti inter se fidem et eius urandum dant et regno occupato per tres potentissimos ac firmissimos populos totius gallia sese potri posse sperum. This last part we got a dupti again. That's a PPP and it's now just like the first word, the first few words, and it's this allot of a means. Having been influenced by this oration, by this speech, They, 
gave faith amongst themselves, inter se, se themselves, being the Helvetian. And they gave faith. This is their accusatory object, and here's our main verb. So they gave faith, um, or trustworthy, they gave uh, allegiance, I would say, probably is a little bit better, um, amongst themselves, and they gave use furandum, they made an oath to one another. They gave an oath. This together is an oath. Uh, a use urandum, a right and a urandum is the a right to be sworn. Uh, in other words, an oath. And regno occupato per trace potentimus, uh, formosimus populos. Per goes all the way here, populos, through, through three very strong and very brave or very firm peoples. Regno occupato is an ablative absolute uh, with the kingdom or with the power having been seized. They hoped, is our main verb, this is going to introduce indirect statement. They hoped that they themselves, this is our accusative direct, our accusative subject, are able, here's our infinitive of IDS, and then this is going to go here. Poteri is our uh, complementary infinitive. So they hope that they are able to gain control of or take the power of all a goal. This is genitive with poteri. Because Poteri takes the genitive. I'm going to go actually right here. Plus the gen. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry this one was a little longer. Um, take care, everybody.